Rio de Janeiro. Authorities reported severe weather in the Norte Fluminense region of Rio de Janeiro state from late November 2022. Affected municipalities included Carapibas, Conceição de Macabu, Meiki, and Campos dos Goitacazes. One person died from a lightning strike in Carapibas. One person died, another was seriously injured and around 85 people were displaced after a landslide in Conceição de Macabu. Flooding has worsened since then, in particular in the city of Carapibas, where two people died and around 1,000 families have been displaced. Meiki recorded 196.6 mm of rain in 48 hours to December 1, 2022. The National Civil Defense reported a total of 16,900 people affected across five municipalities in the state, as of December 4, Piranha State, as reported on December 2. Heavy rain caused a massive landslide along a highway near Guaratuba in Piranha State. Emergency teams are still working at the site, removing debris and mud. 21 vehicles were buried in the slide, and it was thought at least 30 people could be missing. Two bodies have been recovered, and six people rescued alive. Six others were able to escape the vehicles without needing assistance. The search for the missing is continuing, the state government said. Heavy rain has affected other areas of the state, including Antonina, Araucaria, Campina Grande do Sol, Campo Largo, Curitiba, Guaraquecaba, Guaratuba, Itaparucu, Moritz, Piraquara, Quatro Barras, and São José dos Pinhais. Civil Protection reported that. As of December 2, 7,528 people have been affected. Flooding has damaged 647 homes, 500 of them in São José dos Pinhais. One house was destroyed in Antonina. The number of displaced has fallen slightly over the last few days from 1,152 to 1,079. More heavy rain has fallen and the municipality of Inácio Martins recorded 88.6 mm in 24 hours to December 4, 2022. Santa Catarina Heavy rain since late November continues to cause flooding and landslides in Santa Catarina. As of December 4, 32 municipalities were affected, 30 of which declared a state of emergency. Across the state, a total of 16,350 people were affected, including 10,000 in Masarandaba and 4,000 in Campo Alegre. A total of 1,077 people were displaced including 688 in Joinville and 220 in São Bento do Sul. The state government reported fatalities in Palhoca, Brusque and Gravedo. A firefighter is still missing Navigants and another person was reported missing after being swept away by an overflowing river in Brusque. Municipalities in a state of emergency are Araquari, Campo Alegre, Canalinha, Canoinhas, Carupa, Doutor Padrinho, Garuva, Gaspar, Guaramirim, Itajai, Itapoa, Jaragua do Sol, Joinville, Luiz Alves, Masarandaba, Major Jersino, Mafra, Nova Trento, Orleans, Palhoca, Paulo Lopez, Rio dos Cedros, Rio Negrinho, Rodaio, São Bento do Sol, Santo Amaro da Imperatriz, Schroeder, Timbo, Tijucas and Trace Barras, Esirido Santo. Heavy rain has been falling for the last week in the state of Esirido Santo, where civil defense reported 18 municipalities affected, several of which have declared a state of emergency including Cariacica, Colatina, Domingos Martins, Fundeo, Jaguar, João Niva, Santa Leopoldina, São Mateus and Vila Velha. As of December 4, there were a total of 4,051 displaced in the state as a result of the severe weather. One fatality was reported in the municipality of Viana, where a total of 1,676 people were displaced. Santa Teresa municipality recorded 258 millimeters of rain in three days from 01 to December 3. The Doce River at Linhurst is above the orange alert level, 3 meters. As of December 5, the river stood at 3.14 meters and rising.